Welcome back to Loric. We are your flow meter and spray nozzles experts. My name is Hector, and today I will show you how to install your new Loric paddle wheel flow meter. First, before installing your own Loric paddle wheel flow meter, you will need to confirm that the firmware and hardware match. You do this by checking the right top corner of your own user manual. Secondly, in order to avoid any damage done to your paddle wheel flow meter, we at Loric recommend that you check the temperature tolerance, the chemical resistance, pipe size, fluid type, and temperature. Our flow sensor technology is based on a magnetic field. Therefore, we recommend that you use it with fluids free of magnetic materials. Also, the insulation place should be far from motors, solenoid valves, which may generate a strong magnetic field. For stable flow measurement, please install your paddle wheel flow meter with 10 times the diameter of the pipe size length before the paddle wheel and five times the diameter of the pipe after the paddle wheel flow meter. For more information about installation method of our paddle wheel flow meter, please click the link below for more details. Now, I will show you all four parts of your new paddle wheel flow meter. First, the operational device works as a display screen that shows you your flow rate and totalizer value. In addition to that, it also works as a setup screen. So you will input all important data such as size of pipe and your machine will be ready to go. The second part will be the paddle set. The paddle set serves as a connector between the T-connector and the operational device. As you can see here, it uses four different points for the screw. This will install directly onto your T-connector. The third part will be the actual T-connector. As you can see, this is our PVC model. Here are the four screws which will, you will put your paddle set. This also will go directly onto your pipe. The fourth part will be the power cable. The power cable comes with eight different line connectors that go directly to your power supply or data transmitter. The other end will connect directly to your operational device for instant function.